Hey everybody, how's it going? It's me, your guy, me, guy, and today we are doing something a little bit different. We are going to be ranking all of the new Hollow ID outfits. Now, Hollow Life Indonesia just recently all released new kimono costumes, and they were all so gorgeous. I watched every single one of those streams, so I thought it'd be really fun, especially for you Indonesian bros, to rank these outfits by how much I like them. Now, as you can see, uh, it's, it's a pretty short tier list. Only nine people, plus there's only three tiers. The worst you can do is damn, as in damn girl, you looking fine. And then in the middle, you have S tier, and then at the very top, you got Arigato Kamisama, all right? So we are gonna have a lot of fun here. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, please drop a like. And let's get started. So we're going to be going row by row, starting with the damn tier and then working our way up to the very last tier. That way you'll see whose outfits I absolutely adore at the end of this video. So let's get started with the damn tier list. Now I have four people on this tier. And here they are, my four members here in the damn tier list. We have Risu, Muna, Iofi, and Reine. So let's start off with talking about Risu. Now, Risu had a very nice, elegant kimono. It's very on brand with her other outfits. You know, it's there with her normal outfit, her witch outfit. It just has really the same feel. Just exactly what you'd expect out of Yunda. Very pretty, very cute. And oh my god, she she was very adorable. She had her pink nails done and everything. She just looks so cute, especially with the fuzzy collar around the kimono. Just super kawaii. You can't go wrong. It's classic. So Risu, very great outfit. Now, Muna, on the other hand, decided to focus her design around her lore a bit. So you can see she's kind of designed to be more of a moon princess, which I thought was absolutely cute and adorable. I thought the color scheme itself worked very well with her, her, with her color palette already. And on top of that, you, you know, she had, she probably had the best nail game out of all the girls. I mean, the nail game was going hard. You saw, you saw her toenails, you saw her fingernails. She was glad. <laughs> she was straight glamming, all right? It's crazy. So she definitely gave off the the vibe of an elegant, beautiful moon princess. And Muna's outfit was absolutely wonderful. Next up is Iofi, and I'm going to say this right off the bat. I think Iofi... I, I, don't, I don't know if this even really... <laughs> if you can even say this. But her outfit looked the most expensive for a, for a 2D outfit. Like, I, I guess they, add, they added like a shine or a shimmer to the outfit to like suggest the fabric was made of like silk or something. You could tell if you were watching that stream. So I want to say Iofi has the most expensive kimono out of everybody. But I mean, uh, that's not saying much considering, you know, it's all 2D and then not real. <laughs> But there's a lot to love about Ioi's outfit. First of all, the black celestial pattern goes absolutely hard. I, that That's hardcore. There's, there's a lot of black in all these kimonos, actually. So the black goes hard. I'm very much down with that. On top of that, you know, the blue contrast of the band. So, you know, her whole scheme was the black and red. And then she hits it up with a blue fan. And it's a rich blue. But the contrast, the difference between that and her kimono. Yeah. <sighs> Chef's kiss, baby. <sighs> And of course, I've got to point this out, and I don't, I don't want anyone saying anything in the comments about me having, like, you know, fetishes or anything, alright? But, her toes were absolutely adorable! She has, like, the tiniest toes ever! Did you see them? Did you see her toes in the stream? Those things are cute, and they're tiny. <laughs> and I just wanted to point that out. But I don't want anyone to misunderstand. I, I definitely do not... I don't have a thing for feet. It's just something I noticed with my eyes and I thought needed to be brought to attention, all right? And lastly, we have Rene, who probably had the most creative, bold, and unique kimono out of everybody, I'd say. The color scheme was absolutely insane. Not what you would expect from uh, Rene based on her color scheme herself, right? It, it was, it absolutely blew me out of the water it was completely unique and unexpected which is a great thing i absolutely love that on top of that you know she she was wearing some boots nobody else was wearing boots she had these boots under a kimono and she looks so hard she looks so goddamn cool wearing these boots man <laughs> i guess that's the way that's how you would describe ratings it's a, it's a cool kimono it's very like it's like 
Neo Tokyo, I guess, if that <laughs> if that's a good description. Like that's a kimono I could imagine seeing existing in like Edge Runners or, or like Blade Runner 2040 whatever <laughs> Ghost in the Shell. You know, it's very like new Neo Tokyo futuristic kind of vibes I got going on there with Pavolia Rainy. So good job. That's absolutely wonderful. So all those outfits absolutely great but the next outfits i loved even more so we're gonna hit up the s tier outfits so here we are with the s tier as you can see i got three girls in the s tier zeta ollie and anya their outfits were absolutely gorgeous so let's start with zeta now zeta's kimono was exactly on brand with like her curly her current color scheme and her, her current costume, right? Her normal one. Uh, which, you know, for some might be a bad thing. For others, it's a great thing. I absolutely love it. I think her color scheme right now is already perfect. And to just transition that into kimono, that's that's just fine with me, you know? Uh, the, the kimono itself, absolutely great. You know, the design falls exactly like it includes the elements in her normal design, which I think is very cute. And on top of that, the, uh, the cuts of the kimono, her kimono, very sharp. There's a lot of sharp edges. And I absolutely love that because that adds to the silhouette of the character. <laughs> and I, when we talk, when you ever talk about like character design or, or fashion design, silhouette matters, right? So uh, all those sharp edges and sharp cuts of her kimono absolutely add to the silhouette of her character. And I think that's super awesome. She looks so goddamn cool. And on top of that, her hair hair her hair was absolutely adorable i think she had the cutest hair out of all of the girls oh my god i have, i absolutely love short hair and, and zeta's hairstyle was just absolutely cute i loved it so goddamn much man so with that said kimono uh, uh, i mean not kimono zeta absolutely deserves s tier for her kimono and her display Next up, we have Ollie, and Ollie went with a theme, that theme being that of a ninja, and it was absolutely dope. It was so cool, I'm not gonna lie, Ollie, Ollie made a very good choice there with that decision. The ninja theme was absolutely awesome. There's a lot of asymmetry in this design, which I absolutely love. Now, the most obvious thing you can see is the fact that she has one sleeve, but in the other arm, she does not have a sleeve, uh, but that's super cool to me. And plus, she balances it out with the weapon on the other side you know there is there is balance it's asymmetrical but it's still very ba well balanced she had the cool what circle demon witch symbol thing <laughs> i don't know what it is but she had that cool damn thing that was super awesome to see and you know just on top of that there there was a beautiful balance between the fabrics between the simplicity and the more intricate designs you know there's clear spacing but it's all very well balanced and it helps lead your eye through the outfit which i think is very smart designing uh so ollie's outfit just well done well made absolutely love it well deserving of s tier and lastly in s tier we have anya and anya went with a very cool mature unique design which i absolutely loved it was so good she just looked so beautiful and mature she had the howdy nobody else had a howdy and she had a pleated skirt which no one else also did and the pleated skirt and the howdy together yo that's oh chef's kiss right there they looked so good and very very good on anya it looks so great on her oh my god god and you know on top of that she add when you add on top of it the fox scarf and you add the fox mask she looks so goddamn cool <laughs> she looks so cool uh the color scheme very nice simplistic but good simplistic good you don't need a bunch of colors you know it can it can stay simple but still look hard right and anya did absolutely just that with the design of her kimono you know including the howdy the pleated skirt the additional items like the fox scarf and the mask that's how you make an outfit work oh my god so props to anya and her outfit it was absolutely awesome i love it so much well deserving of this tier so now as as you can obviously see there there's only one tier left and two people <laughs> so that's right so in my arigato kamisama tier at the very tippy top i have kayla and kobo of gen 3. kobo's and kayla's outfits were my absolute favorite 
out of the out of the entire weekend of reveals. They were so awesome. I loved them so much. So let's let's start off with Kobo-chan. Now, Kobo, her hers was really cool and a very unique detailed inside. The detail on her kimono is absolutely insane. There's just so much detail going on in that thing, and I really like the use of circles throughout the outfit. So uh, you see, she she has the circle bun. She also has the round puffs on her shoulders, and then you have more circles like the little puffs towards the bottom of the outfit. So you know that's very cool. Seeing them uh, include those elements in design helps lead the eye so much. You know, uh, helps you get a very good, more uniform look out the outfit so i was very happy with that that was very cool to see and her hair is absolutely adorable i mean come on i mean you can tell from the freaking pv when, when everybody was just a solid color <laughs> bill you know mystery you know you can tell Cole had the cutest hair ever <laughs> i mean i still like james more but Cole's hair Cole's hair is a close second it's absolutely adorable so kobo absolutely killed it plus you know when you add on the hat and stuff, I mean, uh, Como just brought the house down. She really did. So, big props to her. That goes in the Arigato Kamisama tier list. And lastly, we have Kayla. And Kayla's outfit, I absolutely love it. I think between Kayla's and Como's, I like Kayla's the most. I think her kimono was my favorite overall. Yeah, it's so good. Now, first off, yeah, it's a very, it's a contemporary modern design. And I absolutely love it. I love modern, I love contemporary, so that that's a plus for me. So you can see she's showing off the legs, she's showing off the shoulders. Oh my god, if I wasn't sipping the minute the second I saw this kimono on her, oh my god, boys, that like I, I like Kayla, right? I, I used to think I like Kayla, but after seeing this kimono reveal, you know, now I'm like, oh now I like like Kayla. <laughs> like Kayla got me feeling something in places, okay? <laughs> now, the outfit is absolutely great. A lot of sharp edges, similar to Zeta's, but I think what really makes this outfit stand out so much is the design in the fabric. Now, it looks like they went with what I believe to be like a carbon fiber pattern. That's my guess, you know, because she's a blacksmith and she works... You know, she works with materials and stuff. So I think uh, what they were going for is like a carbon fiber pattern, which if if I'm right on that, that's that's awesome. You know, that's a great way to tie in like her theme of her being a blacksmith in an intelligent, you know, innovative way, you know, to make a carbon fiber pattern like that. That's absolutely awesome. I absolutely love that. I think that was really cool. And I think it makes the outfit look very smart and elegant. And on top of that, you know, they tie it up all together with a nice big white bow and i think that white bow like i said ties it up all together and makes the outfit like a hundred times better oh my god she looks absolutely normal she she literally looks like a gift <laughs> from the gods to us <laughs> you know her beauty is the gift to us hollow bros <laughs> <laughs> so I absolutely love Kayla's outfit. It's my favorite. Uh, it's so awesome. But you know, all these outfits, absolutely great. It was such a fun time watching these Kimono Reveal streams. I watched every single one. I, I really did. And that, that honestly, that... <laughs> That that put me behind a lot of other stuff, but that, you know that's okay. You know, treat myself, treat myself. And that's really all I have to say about these outfits. So everybody, you have heard my opinions. I'd love to hear yours in the comments. If you want to tell me which uh, kimono was your favorite or how you would arrange this tier list, you know, feel free to do that in the comments down below. I always love to read them. I'll leave some comments too. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it so much i make multiple haul life videos every week so if you're looking for more of that then i am your guy and father said i wish you guys all the love and peace